So, Esplanade. It opened up about 10 months ago, and I have my first closing on a custom build today. I'm gonna pop in on the final walkthrough and see my customers off to the closing table so they can enjoy the brand new home. So after my buyers did their final walkthrough, we headed over to the Model Center to sign final documents. Esplanade is a 55 plus active adult community located in tradition. They offer both quick move-ins, quick move-in homes, which are speculative homes, as well as custom build homes. This community will have a total of 600 homes when completed. Now in Esplanade, they just opened phase two and are selling lots. So if you're looking to do a custom build, this is a prime opportunity to jump on some great lot values. Also, uh, with the opening of phase two, uh, that means they've got some homes, some speculative homes in phase one that they're looking to sell and they've got some aggressive incentives on those homes. Uh, I thought today maybe we'd take a look at one of their smaller builds, the Capri. Uh, you can get this home uh, for under 500,000. It's a beautiful single family home, concrete block construction, concrete tile roof, uh, really nice home, two bedroom, two bath with a den and a two car garage. Let's take a look. Upon entering the home, to the left, you have a den. This particular model has porcelain tile that looks like wood throughout the main living areas. The den is spacious and has a tray ceiling and is wired for a light and you have pocket doors so that you can seal off the area if you want to use it as a guest room. As you head to the opposite side of the house, you'll find the laundry room on the left, down a hallway, your guest bathroom, and the guest bedroom. You have a linen closet conveniently located 
right outside the garage door entry. The living area is spacious. It's an open concept floor plan with a large island, white shaker cabinets, ceilings are 9 feet 4 inches. The same porcelain tile is carried throughout the living area. It has stainless steel appliances. This is a gas community. Nice convenient place to keep your trash. The countertops are quartz. This one has a stainless steel sink. Nice dining area right off of the kitchen to an oversized lanai. This one has a really nice view. The lanai is plumbed for water, gas, and electricity for an outdoor kitchen. Heading over to the master, you'll find lovely gray carpeting. The master also has a tray ceiling, large windows out to the back area, which is on a lake. And as we head into the master bathroom, it's quite large. You have a dual vanity with a makeup area. And a very large shower with a seating area, plenty of place to store your shampoo items. Overall, the master bathroom is quite spacious. The toilet area is enclosed, so you do have privacy. I like that in most bathrooms. And the master closet is large as well. This home is 1,610 square feet. Again, nine foot four ceilings. The living area is spacious and also has a tray ceiling. This layout is great for entertaining as your guests can talk to you while you're cooking in the kitchen. Now the Capri model that I just showed you, they currently have it listed for $4.90. One out the door, land, all of its upgrades, plus some healthy incentives. I mean, some pretty good ones. Now you may have watched some other videos on YouTube in reference to this community, um, and they may have mentioned something about impact windows, uh, stating that they don't include them, and that's not 100% accurate. Now, when Taylor Morrison, the builder, opened this community called Esplanade, um, it was July of last year, 2021. They were having difficulties because of all of our supply chain issues, getting their hands on impact windows it was quite a strain. So they were putting impact windows on the front of the house and they were offering impact shutters on the sides and the back. Now our building code here in South Florida requires that you have some type of hurricane protection on all of the glazed openings and these homes do fortunately they have been able to secure a supplier uh, that can meet the demand and you can now get impact windows all the way around if that is what you would like to have many people have both impact and impact rated shutters on their homes i happen to have both on my homes so um it's it's just a choice of what type of protection you want to have. Now the builder will quote you 12 months to build you a custom home um, and both of the closings uh, that I have had were under that. I had one that was completed in 10 months, I had one that was completed in 11 months. 
Uh, I would think 12 months is probably the longest period of time it will take to get you a home in Esplanade, but it could be as short as 10 months if you're doing a custom build. Um, as far as quick move-ins or speculative homes, I mean, you could have one of those by the end of the year. Some of these are in mid-production, so they've already broken ground, um, you know, the pull permits have been pulled, the slab is down, the block is down, and they are midstream building. And they do have some very good incentives on those type of homes. And you may be saying, well, I wanna pick out all the things myself. Well, they have had their designers do that, and they do a very nice job. They've got lots of data because they have been in business well over 75 years. Uh, so they look at what most homeowners pick for design options, and they are picking out the latest and greatest design uh, features from the white shaker cabinets uh, to the quartz countertops, um, you know, brushed nickel pulls, the type of things most people would want in their home. Now this is an active adult community, so you must be 55 years of age to purchase there, and they, they do stick to it in this particular neighborhood. You're gonna have to be 55 by the time that house is completed in order to buy uh, in Esplanade. Their clubhouse, they have already broken ground, and by June of uh, 2023, you should have a gorgeous clubhouse um, with a cafe that will have some type of beverage service. I have been told they will be offering, I guess, beer and wine and uh, grab and go sandwiches, light fare, that type of thing. Um, I'm very excited to see that clubhouse when it's completed because I have looked at the other Esplanades on the west coast of Florida and they do an outstanding job. They're very pretty. Uh, they have that you know, beachy resort style feel. So you really do have that I'm on a vacation feel when you go down to their clubhouse. You get a big bang for your buck when it comes to the HOA fee if you live in tradition. Now in tradition, there are two HOA fees. You have the tradition main HOA fee and then you have your neighborhood HOA fee. Um, the two together uh, run somewhere on an average of We'll call it 475. Uh, so in Esplanade, uh, it could be as low as I think 465, depending on your lot size, and as high as 495 on the 3,000 square foot estate type homes. And you get a lot. So things that you would normally be paying for, like uh, cable TV and internet, those things will go away out of your monthly expenses because they are included in that monthly fee. Your HOA fee covers all of your lawn care. You know, I've never known anybody to uh, really want to do their lawns uh, as, as they start to age. She really would just like to enjoy life. So lawn care, uh, fertilization, uh, irrigation. They do uh, your quarterly tree trimming and hedge trimming. They cover all the common area maintenance, you know, obviously a reserve fund, uh, management fee, they have a manager that's full-time um, for the community as well as a lifestyle director. Uh, your uh, internet is included in that fee. They monitor your security system. It includes a landline telephone and a high-definition cable TV, cable TV package is also included. Now Taylor Morrison does offer a 50-year prorated uh, warranty on their roof. Um, you'll probably be dead before you have to take advantage of that warranty. I hate to say it, but it's a strong warranty. Now the proximity of this community is outstanding. Uh, it is very close to Tradition Square. It is on the north side of Tradition, which is the original Tradition development. Uh, most of the growth with a lot of these communities are on the south side, which has a lot of retail and commercial growth. Uh, so if you pick Esplanade as a place to live, you're going to be away from all that, which I kind of prefer. You know, if you'd like help acquiring one of these beautiful homes in Esplanade, I'm happy to help you. It's always good to have realtor representation and it doesn't cost you anything. Your price doesn't change if you have a realtor. 
So um, what I do for most people is not only do I show them a community like Esplanade, but I tell them about other communities that may have the same type of amenities or homes that are within your budget, whatever that budget may be, point out the differences between uh, what each community's strengths or weaknesses are. Not every community is perfect and everyone's tastes and what they want in a neighborhood and in a home is individual to each person. So I'll do my best uh, to ask you a lot of questions to find out what's most important to you and I can lay it out for you and tell you the differences and save you a ton of time. Also, you know, with new construction, whether it's this community or any other community, you're at a time of life where uh, probably not in the mood to do a whole home remodel, uh, take care of a bunch of deferred maintenance, worry about replacing the air conditioner or the water heater. None of that will be a worry if you buy a new construction home. You'll be under warranty, everything will be brand new, and you can spend time on more important things. I don't know, like, decorating or maybe having a cocktail at the pool if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated and of course make your comments below i would love to know what you thought of the capri model is it something that you would live in is it too small for you are you unwilling to part with all of the things you've accumulated in your house i'd love to know and if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to this channel. You know, hit that, smash that, little tap to the subscribe button. Because I would love to have you join me here on my channel. It's always a good time. My name is Lisa Ammons. I want to thank you for spending part of your day with me. And I hope you enjoyed this next upcoming video. Take care.